Hey guys, welcome back. Last class, we got introduced to the topics of genetics and inherited traits, and we finished off class with the scientist Gregor Mendel. And Gregor Mendel is considered the father of modern genetic inheritance and the laws that goes behind it because he was the first one to discover and see how genetic traits are passed down from parents to offspring. And he was able to figure this out through looking at studies of pea plants. And just a visualization up here, what Gregor Mendel saw is that when he crossed together a tall pea plant and a short pea plant, okay, he expected that half of his offspring, or half of the offspring from this cross-pollination would be tall and half would be short. However, all of the offspring that resulted from this pollination resulted in all tall offspring. So he was curious about this and he decided to take two of these tall offspring in the next generation and cross-pollinate those together. And what happened was 75% um, of the tall plants, and I'll draw this here to visualize it for you, 75% roughly of the offspring from this cross showed tall plants. But the remaining 25% showed short plants, which was shown in the original parental generation. So it seemed that the short trait disappeared or skipped a generation. And he was able to see that in genetics, two child traits are passed down from each of the parents to the offspring. Two genes control two tra genes control trait. We call these alleles. Alleles are variants of the same gene. In other words, the gene for tall, how tall or short a plant will grow, um, it is the same gene controlled by the same genetics. However, a different variation on it. You can have tall plants or short plants. So, from these observations right here and his mathematical calculations, he was able to determine how the traits would be passed down from the parents to the offspring. And we do these through the use of Punnett squares. So what I'm going to show you right now is exactly how Gregor Mendel determined that the tall trait was the dominant trait over short plants. Okay. So we are going to create what we call a Punnett square. And a Punnett square is a four square window. Each box in this window shows a possible offspring. And listed on the outside are the parents, the parental generation before the offspring. So before we can get to that, we have to determine what the genes are for the parents that we want to see and track. So, we are going to track one trait or one allele at a time. Okay? We're going to look for the tall versus the short gene. And you have to represent through capital letters or lowercase letters. You cannot see genes, so we have to represent them in some kind of variable. So, I'm going to represent the capital T for tall plants. And for short plants, I'm going to represent with the lowercase t. Remember, alleles, varying forms of the same trait. It is the same trait, so we must use the same letter. However, one is going to be dominant over the other. And I'm going to provide this information here. That the tall gene, represented by capital D, T, is dominant to the allele or gene controlling the short plant. So in this generation right here, the original parents, we are going to list on the outside of this box to show the possible offspring that were produced. So let me give myself some room here. To organize this and make sure I list the parents correctly, I like to list parent one on the top and parent two on the side of the box. So parent one 
Gregor Mendel didn't know this. He was, it was a tall plant, but the letters that represent that tall plant were two capital T's. And parent two, he saw was a short plant. He didn't know, but the genes for that plant, for that trait, were two lowercase t's. Make sure when you list your letters for your parents' alleles, you list them individually above each column and in front of each row. So essentially what we're going to show now is how each parent passes down each allele to each potential offspring. So I'm showing right now the pattern in which you're going to transfer the letters to each box. So in this top left box here, if parent 1 is giving this allele and parent 2 is giving this allele, this offspring would have this genotype, capital T, lowercase t. And the same goes for all of the other boxes. Capital T, lowercase t, capital T, lowercase t, and then finally capital T, lowercase t. So this shows, through genetics, through allele inheritance, how each of all the offspring from this cross showed all tall plants. If the, top, if the dominant gene is tall, capital T, over short, lowercase t, then all four boxes, or 100% probability, that the offspring will be tall. So what Gregor Mendel did in his next cross was to take two of these offspring and cross those together and see what would happen. So we're going to put this Punnett square down here. So the parents for this cross, the first parent is capital T, lowercase t. The second parent was also capital T, lowercase t. So we're going to construct this Punnett square here and show how 75% of the offspring were tall and only 25% were short. So if I list my parents in the order that I did up here, parent 1 is on the top, parent 2 along the side. So the next step in this process, to show each allele from each parent going to each potential offspring. So this box would read two capital T's, homozygous dominant. This box would read capital T, lowercase t, heterozygous. This box would read another heterozygous trait, capital T, lowercase t. And this box would show two lowercase t's, homozygous recessive. So you see, out of four possibilities here, it shows that 75% of these plants will be tall, and only one out of the four boxes showed both recessive traits showing together. Thus, the recessive phenotype will show. 75% so probability your offspring will be tall, and 25% being short. This is not how all genetics work. This are just one trait at a time. So next class, we're going to take a look at what happens when traits mix together.